Hey, I'm Brian Johnson of Tell Em Steve Dave. And after considering all the other possibilities, Ming, Adam and Eve decided that we here at Tell Em Steve Dave were their most qualified spokesman to give the lowdown on their website, their sexy website. I want to know what dipshits in charge of spending Adam and Eve's advertising dollars that they didn't get canned for that decision. Okay, you think because of us, a scene like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross has ever played out in the advertising room? I would, I would give these lines, but you sound more like Ricky Roman than I do. So, oh, like, uh, I don't care whose nephew you are, who you know, whose dick you're sucking on, that type of thing. Smoking. Oh, hey, Walt. I didn't see you there. Hey, what are you doing here, man? Traditionally, you've stayed away from hot button issues like the Taliban or you know, normal man women sexual activity at all. Smoking. Smoking, indeed, Walt. Q, what I think Walt means to say is AdamandEve.com has some smoking deals on their site that are a tailored fit for the horny, the lonely, and after perusing the online catalog, apparently even the sexually corrupt. Well, you must be talking about the uh, incentives they offer. Like, for a limited time when you select an item, you're going to get 50% off? Wow, now surely that shatters the ceiling of what they can afford to. Now, not even close. Now, you want to shut up so I can tell everybody the rest? You think that hurt a normal man? Anyway, in addition to the 50% off just about every other item in their catalog, they're going to include three free adult team DVDs, a free and secret gift that is described, as they say, so sensual it can't be mentioned on radio or apparently even digital broadcasting. Yes! 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 Hell yes! Yeah, uh, and to top it off, it's all being shipped to your door on Adam and Eve's dime. Free shipping? No! 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 Hell no! You see, Q, it pains poor Walt to see a business take what appears to be a financial trouncing on the surface, but I'm trusting they've got it covered. Circle gets to swear! Couldn't have said it better myself, Walt. Well, let's not forget the final ingredient that makes this sexy cake rise like a girthy, pulsating, veiny, pus-weeping, aggressive monster boner. You must be referring to the TESD coupon code. So before you check out, just put TESD in the coupon code box to assure you of receiving the three free DVDs, the extra sensual gift, and free shipping. I really like the way that smells. Who doesn't, Walt? And that's not all. Order from adamandeve.com and forge your receipt to tell Steve Dave 37 at gmail.com by October 15th, and you'll receive a special podcast from all the TESD players as a thank you sent straight from our hearts and our big mouths. AdamandEve.com. Now everybody can be a pimp. We want you to bend over and get probed. <laughs> <laughs> was lampposts with alien heads as the as the lights ah. and i was like this is going to be fucking awesome <laughs> <laughs> She was probably to... the only girl in town doing that kind of shit then. Oh, you think? Back then? Yeah, she was like the town pump. She was the skank. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell him, Steve Dave. Live from Las Cruces. Las Cruces. Normally I'd say thank you for coming, but since Modcast went first, I'm going to say thank you for not leaving. <laughs> How are you feeling, Walt? Oh, I'm sorry. Walter Flanagan. Brian Quinn. Hi. Feeling good, Walt? Feeling good. You happy to be in New Mexico? Uh, yeah. Very happy. You don't say. Because Q, I don't know if you remember from uh, the show the other day, Walter maligned New Mexico. I do remember a small amount of uh, New Mexico trash talking on Walt's part. What did I say? Do you remember that? Well, don't go, don't, don't be too hard on him. Uh, we, oops. <laughs> oh, I've been telling this guy that for 30 years. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> well, it was in the middle of uh, a commercial we were doing for all of our dates, and I brought up New Mexico, and, and he said, I don't like that place. <laughs> I don't remember and I that. Said, and I said, and I left it in on purpose, and I said, what about White Sands? Like, we went to White Sands when we were, what's else? We're going to back up. I'm so sorry. Okay. 
um, we went to White Sands, and, and, and you said you liked it. And he goes, I don't like that place. I only told you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says to me, and I, I figured out that like we, why lie to you? Like what? Because he he was just so into it, um, and he was complaining about me in the whole trip. I figured you know I'll just tell him I like it just to save myself some abuse in the car later, <laughs> and it <Because>, worked. <laughs> because on on the way to we were going to San Diego Comic Con, and on the way there, uh, I kid you not, every fucking Walmart. On the way, like on this route, we stopped at for toys and for fucking comics and whatever the fuck it was he was looking for. And that was the one place that I was like, I've, I've, uh, I'd really like to go to White Sands. And uh, he said, well, what's there? And I was like, well, the name kind of explains it. <laughs> Sand that's white. Yeah, it's the, it's the biggest, like, waterless beach. But it's really cool. You've been there. We've oh, been there together. We've been. I think I was there with Walt, too. Another, Another time, time right. right. But the time that I went with him, when we pulled up, it wasn't free. Ooh. So the grousing started immediately. I think it was like five bucks to get in. <laughs> I had to pay, I paid the five bucks. I actually For paid, him? I paid his entrance fee, yeah. Well, in his defense, Walmart is free to get into. <laughs> Rarely free when you leave, though, because it walks out with armloads of shit. But I figured out that it wasn't that he hated New Mexico. It wasn't that he hated um, White Sands. It was because New Mexico wasn't Roswell. Like, in his mind, <laughs> in his mind, New Mexi like Roswell was New Mexico. We were going we to drive in, and it was just going to be fucking alien shit everywhere. And we went out of our way, too. We didn't even really need to go that way. I was so but, amped up for the trip. I was just like, it's going to be alien central. <laughs> Everything I see is good. like it's going to be the ca alien capital of the world. Right. It was heavy duty anticipation. I mean, New Mexico is fairly larger than Roswell, though, right? And if you look me, on a map. I mean, everything I've seen about New Mexico is just a documentary about the aliens crashing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how far is Roswell from here? Three hours. It's like three hours. Four hours. Oh, shit. So, uh, what, there's a differing speed. Somebody goes one hour, someone's like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's riding a bike there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so we uh, we actually stayed in, in New Mexico in one of the, to, to get here the crummiest fucking hotel room we've ever been in. Um, we uh, we drove through yeah, Texas. I don't know where it was, but we we um, it was like this little side road that we had to get to, like in order to kind of like cut off a whole bunch of driving through the interstate. And it was, I mean, two hours, an hour forty five minutes to two hours of the worst. Uh, cattle reek, like cow shit, like slaughterhouse stuff, right. like giant fucking feedlot and stuff. It, it was unbearable. Like you had to roll the windows up and we're in Texas. So it's like fucking 900 degrees, you know, outside or, or, and in the car, you turn on the air conditioning and it's pumping all that through. This is what I'm going through. I went through all that. So the guy could go to Roswell and he's right. just like $5 <laughs> at white sands. <laughs> It still wasn't enough, but we stayed in this really crappy motel. I remember we walked in and there was a half-eaten bagel on the on the bed that wasn't made, and a hairbrush that looked like three generations of women had brushed their hair with it and never cleaned it out. And this was in New Mexico. It was in New Mexico, yeah. So even I don't I don't know. It was it was ten years ago, but you see how long this dude fucking harbors resentment against you people. <laughs> For not having aliens in every town, <laughs> you know? But it started out like with promise, though. When we rolled into Roswell, we come up on the main street. I don't know if it's still like that now, but there was lampposts with alien heads as the, as the lights. Uh. And I was like, this is going to be fucking awesome. <laughs> It was, yeah, there was heavy duty anticipation. Uh, uh, aliens all over New Mexico. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're much, you're much kinder than the Arizona people, right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, wait, what's that? Fuck Arizona? Okay, well. Yeah. All right, all right. We're safely right. out of the state. We did our show. Yeah, let's, let's, talk let's, about, yeah, let's, let's talk about <laughs> space aliens. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> uh, soda comes down, hits you in the head. <laughs> Somebody spits in my burrito. <laughs> so, um... What? So, so, like you say, it was promising. We roll in the town, and there, there's the alien light posts, and, yeah. of course, we go to fucking Walmart, and there's... Um, <laughs> 
Again, was, like, is that alien still on Walmart over by Roswell? There was a gigantic, like, inflatable <laughs> alien or something on the roof, as I remember, or something. Yeah, it was like it was like kind of on the wall. I thought it was like really sort of cartoonish. Green. Yeah, it was ten years ago. Really, <laughs> but have things changed since yeah, the year two thousand? <laughs> um, but he uh, still there. He didn't give up. We started driving around town searching high and low for other alien shit. Like, we, we checked everywhere but the crash site. <laughs> because, like, when you, it's misleading. When you go to Roswell, it, it, there, there's this information booth where they say, um, they say, okay, well, here's the crash site, which is, like, literally, you have to have a four by four to get there. Um, it's like, what, is it, it's like 50 miles away from, from Roswell proper. And uh, even after you four by four, I think you have to get out and walk a little bit too. And uh, basically, Wait, after miles? all that travel, what's that? How many miles? It's like fifty miles. Right? Fifty miles? How is Roswell even laying claim to this crash site? <laughs> I don't know. That's, ridiculous. That's like me living laying claim to Jersey. What? There's nothing out there. I mean, if they're gonna lay claim to it, though, they should own it. I mean, there should be fucking buildings shaped like fucking right. spaceships. <laughs> right. What's that restaurant in New York? It's a, what's that restaurant in New York? It's like a, 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 a alien themed or, or space. Oh, themed. like there's like a, in Times Square. Mm -hmm. It's like the shittiest tourist trap. It's like Area 51 or some shit like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like it should be stuff like there. But should they be, have like, a guy out corner. there in an alien outfit, like waving <laughs> in yeah. Times Square. That's and you're what like, I, was I don't see know every if corner, he's hired though. by the restaurant or just some dude in an alien costume because it is Times Square. <laughs> But what, what did you think? Like, when you rolled in, what did you think it was going to be? I just thought... Did, you thought that Roswell like, was going to embrace it? It was going to be like the alien Disney World. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you really did expect, that you wanted a theme park. I wanted a, yeah, I wanted, like, a theme park, like, of, of, of something that, like, rather than just, like little, like, chintzy alien crap. <laughs> and, you, and you actually wanted, like, a Disney... You wanted them to roller take coasters. Stuff. Yeah. Well, the, the, he wanted them to erase the, the the beauty and the splendor of the New Mexico landscape <laughs> <laughs> and basically clear away twenty seven thousand acres <laughs> like they did in Disney to put up an alien themed. Uh, you can't do that. People would go. Do you think so? Yeah. Would you guys go? Would would people go? Yeah, that shit ain't gonna be free, man. Yeah, gonna be like, it, nothing's free. They're like, step right up to the alienator. <laughs> Ten bucks. The alienator? Yeah, that's the. Oh, that? In my head, that's the awesome alien roller coaster that ends oh, okay. with an alien oh, yeah, yeah, fucking alien. spitting on You'd your face. You have alien. Um, you could have like a little alien mascot, like like Mickey Mouse. Like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. You <laughs> what does it do? He's like a little gray, and he's got like these little tiny little shorts on or something. <laughs> Like 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 hot pants. <laughs> do, do, do aliens wear shorts? Well, to make them like a little bit fan friendly, because they're kind of like creepy. The gray aliens got those big soulless black eyes. <laughs> you can put, put a little smile on them. Put them on a little like like uh, non threatening shorts. <laughs> what shorts would be threatening? <laughs> No, no shorts. I think would be threatening. No shorts at all. Yeah, because all those characters, all the con all the cartoon characters have clothes. Well, maybe Donald doesn't wear shorts, but I don't think Pluto does either, does he? Or, or has he put shorts on? No, he's, he doesn't wear clothes either. What, what would you name this guy? Like, like the alien? Yeah. Like... Ricky. Well, <laughs> don't put too much thought into it. Ricky, Ricky the alien. alien. Yeah, that would be good enough. Now, do you come with? A, do you come out with a with a cast of characters? Is it like? Is it like Pluto? Because I mean, this Disney was built over when did it start in the thirties, late twenties, oh, yeah, thirties. Easily. Well, you could have. I mean, there's fucking a million aliens out there. You got fucking Martians. So far, no one's seen any aliens <laughs> that I know of. Well, I was talking about. I mean, like in just like you can pull like green Martians with antennas. You got B Bems or BM BMs, whatever they what? call them, bug-eyed monsters, and. Um, <laughs> That sounds so kid-friendly. <laughs> you got the greys. I mean, there's a, there's a thousand different species of aliens out there. That, 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 that you don't even have to license, though. <laughs> Are they out there, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> So, th so that's what you think. You don't, you don't do any licensing whatsoever. You're just no, keep the cost down. You, you know, you just do generic aliens, and, and you, and then they, you, you, when you name them, you own them. Then, 
We should talk to Kevin about getting some funding for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who works it? I guess I work it. Yeah. Uh, anytime there's a new venture that Kevin goes into, I seem to be the one to open it and then quit six months later. I'm like, I can't take work. And, like, yes, <laughs> fuck this Ricky alien. <laughs> I can't fuck it. Give it a name to my pain. It's Ricky the alien. <laughs> Um, what rides would you have? I thought you, know, you could have like because you uh, want to have it alien centric. Everything has to be alien. Right? Yeah, you know how they have like um, those rides. Like, yeah, What's up? Yeah, you could have like a probe. You don't want to bring attention to that. Look how no, fast she was on that. No, you could, you could be like you know how you get in those like those the, those theme park rides at Universal. Like they're like if you sit a motion seat. simulator thing. Yeah, like a simulated ride. You get in there. It's called the the alien abduction. <laughs> You get in there, yeah. you sit down with a group of people in your chair, and all of a sudden, like, a, a sinister-looking gray comes up there. Like it's a like, District 9 type guy? No. Or not a, that a scary. Gray. What's District 9? You keep saying that. It's a movie. It's I a, know. It, you didn't see that movie? Yeah, it was like a a lover of aliens? I've seen it, but that's not like... Like, I'm talking about a gray, you know? Like, <laughs> No, do go on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He comes out like a sinister alien comes out and he's no like, shorts. <laughs> like does he have like yeah. that's how we know he's fucked up. That's how you know he's evil. Yeah. <laughs> so you, don't, you don't even gotta go top hat cape and fucking mustache. <laughs> he comes out and he's like commence probing. Right. And then like you're sitting there and, and you're you, strapped down. Yeah, so. you sit there and you feel so a little. So they may as well say commence raping. <laughs> Essentially. A little bump comes under your seat, you jump up. Right. But you can't. Well, you know, it's not like it's not like it's gonna be in, like intrusive or anything. You just feel a little bump. And then maybe another alien comes in. How are you gonna explain this to kids? <laughs> like how like an alien not wearing shorts is at least your problem to this point. <laughs> Is there, well, you could have, like, the height requirement, right? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to be six feet to ride this ride. <laughs> That's psychologically damaged already. <laughs> Guys on an SMN masks and shit like that. Like, I want, I want to go on this fucking probe. <laughs> that ride might work in, like, San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco? Yeah. Come on. Uh, it's okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know about grays. You don't know about gays. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so how 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 far? It, like, it just a little just, bit of pressure. Yeah, we're not talking about something that's going to make people sh- shriek in agony. We're just talking about something that's like. <laughs> that's what I've told every girl <laughs> that I've ever probed. I'm like, this isn't going to make you shriek in agony. It's a little bump, baby. You won't even know it's there. <laughs> I'll put on shorts. <laughs> what else do you got? What other rides? What other well, rides? You said the abduction one. Well, yeah, well it, it would have to be a series of things then, right? It's like, it's not just the probe. It's like, start out with the abduction. Like, how long does a ride take? I mean, if it's a true abduction, you probably get off the ride like five well, months later. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you come back with guys that fought in World War II. Like shit. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't be too long. I mean, it's got to be like, you know, you got to get on and see the rest of the theme park. I don't know, like, like maybe like a 20 minute, like maybe, I don't know, how long's a ride, like Terminator ride or something, like 10 minutes? I don't know. Huh. What's up? Yeah, it's like, I don't know what the lines would be like for our alien theme park, but, you know, if they're really long, you got, you got to... What's that? Right. But we would make it so you could see all of Alien Land, though. Right. She, says that, she says you can't see all of Disney in one day. The probe? <laughs> What did you land you going to, motherfucker? Yeah, your parents lied to you, bro. I've been there. I didn't. That was your uncle's house. That wasn't Disneyland, dude. I think you're missing the point of the ride. Would there though. be a bump going up your crevice? No. Is that what you're talking about, Lilo and Citra? <laughs> Like the tingler. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This could work. They closed Lilo and Stitch? How come? They didn't have shorts. The Lilo and Stitch movie, so Stitch was there, and it was still pretty creepy because the thing would like break out and you'd like feel things on your feet and like air would be on your back. Yeah, man, that would be awesome. Okay. Hire her. <laughs> the fuck, man? Get her a job. <laughs> I know. She was, like, right on it. The probe. And then this is happens. And then this happens. <laughs> and then her great comes out. <laughs> okay, so, you, got, so you, you do the abduction, and then you move on to the probe. 
And then what? Then another alien comes and takes you from there for processing? <laughs> yeah, maybe like you, you can like, uh, maybe there's a shave you or something. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's your choice. You can you can elect to be shaved or, or not to. I mean, I don't know. Would, would you have to pay shaved? extra? No. Or is it like SeaWorld behind the scenes? Like you pay 150 bucks and you get to see them actually train the whales and shit. If you if you pay extra, you, they're like you get a hot shave <laughs> wherever you want it, I guess. Do grays shave? Is that what they do? Yeah, I've seen documentaries where like people said they've come back and they have no hair in their body whatsoever. So you, could, you can open a barber shop in in, in the alien town now. <laughs> Cross like el- like alopecia, like like everything's gone, like eyebrows and um, They said everything, no hair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd offer the shave. I, I think I, I think I might k- kill it there. Uh, what else did you have? You could have the alien autopsy room. Is that too scary? No, no, it's okay. That's all right. Why not? Uh, oh, what can you do? I mean, it starts with probing. You're the master of ceremonies. Yeah, like after the probe, people are probably like, let's call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the ride you want to go on first. <laughs> That's some traumatizing shit right there. What if the aliens got mad, though? Like, let's see, because we have, we've we never been... Uh, what do you mean? In the ride or in real life? You okay, well, you start your alien theme park, right? Right. And it's humming along nicely. You've got, you know, this lady fucking engineering the whole deal. <laughs> it's quite successful. But then finally it happens, like where an alien species visits Earth. And they announced themselves to Earth? Well, it's like, uh, what was that movie? Um, War of the Worlds? Where they just kind of like hover above cities and shit? Yeah. So they, what's it? It's like they, anything, right? Yeah. Independence. It's, it's like, right? I think it's, it's all of them. A, right. It's, a, yeah, it's any alien. <laughs> they just come and hover for a while. <laughs> Um, so they so they show up, and they're they're uh, nobody knows what they want, and uh, their first their first contact with us is um, that they intercepted a transmission from uh, a third rate podcast called Tell Them Steve Dave <laughs> <laughs> about uh, alien theme parks, and, and finally they and they're were, not happy. They're very unhappy because they, because they're being exploited. Oh, they haven't been exploited in every fucking medium there is up until now, like TV, movies? They're an artsy race, these aliens. So, <laughs> so books and movies and, and, and shit like that, they're like, all right, we can get behind it because it's art. But but this this greedy capitalist, this scumbag Walt Flanagan, <laughs> was making us look bad because we really don't pro people. I don't know why everyone keeps saying that. <laughs> Not, what, what are they looking for anyway when they pro people? How the what? fuck do I know? I don't know. Did the guy, does the guy not seem to know everything about aliens up to and including? I think he's going to rip off his fucking head Scooby-Doo style and be like, a oh, gray. Um, so you don't know what they're looking for when they're probing? That one in ten doesn't really seem to mind. What's that? That one in ten doesn't really seem to mind. What do you mean one in ten? Gay jokes? One in ten people. <laughs> one in ten people get probed? Like they're all for it. They're like, yay, Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that's the way it goes on your pro ride. <laughs> you won't get sued. Um, so uh, so the aliens show up and they're annoyed. Okay. And uh, they they want answers. They demand to fucking. Well, they want it. They want something. Well, tell me your leader. They uh, want. So they want. They want to talk to the leader of Tell Him Steve Dave. Well, not necessarily the leader. Maybe the person who came up with the whole fucking alien theme park idea. <laughs> because really, why should I have to pay? You're putting in shorts. <laughs> You're making them look silly. Let's send Q. Let's send Q? Yeah, I'll go fucking talk. I'll deal with aliens. I don't give a shit. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Are they going to probe me? Well, of course. Well, that's... Of course. One of the th- that's what, then shave you. And then they'll talk to you. <laughs> nah, I don't want to talk to the aliens. I don't, do that. I don't know if that's a good idea. I, don't, I have little patience for shaving and probing, so I don't know how that's going to go. I don't think that'll go well. But you're acting as an emissary for everyone, not just us. You're for all these people, New Mexicans. Because the 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 fucking the, the thing crashed in Roswell, right? Right. So they're going to probably come. They're here. <laughs> <laughs> and they've arrived. They're probably going to come. Back here or Area 51, right? Isn't that where they're supposed oh, they're to Times keep Square? aliens and shit? Not Times Square. Yeah, they're going to go get lunch and then fucking continue the trip. <laughs> <laughs> it has something to do with Mars. Does no one know of this restaurant? It's, a cold, it's called Mars 2112. That's what oh. it's called. 
Yeah, to get in that you gotta go on to uh, like a, a ride. It's a shitty ride, and they're like aliens. <laughs> no, I just explained it to him. They got it. <laughs> You're telling Walt? Yeah, like that's like, what he that's said. Like he was his ride, his ride. Oh, it exists, right? No, they don't. They don't. <laughs> they're not doing what he was talking about. <laughs> No way. They shave it or two? <laughs> we live close enough we get probed and shaved on a regular basis. So you want to go? You got to go. Uh, they demand to speak to you. Yeah, but how, how am I getting... All right, yes, I'm going. I'm going. Okay. I'll talk to the aliens. For all these good people, what a hero. Even the ones in the back who aren't clapping for shit and haven't clapped since the beginning of the goddamn Point show. Out that I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'll go for them. So, so the aliens come down. Where would they meet them? Do you think some sort of neutral location? Um, sure. How about Devil's Tower? Devil's Tower? Yeah, like in Close Encounters. <laughs> okay, yeah, at the top of Devil's Tower, mano a mano. Okay. With an alien. This is to, to explain yourself why he shouldn't fucking annihilate the fucking all of Earth's. So Quinn population shows, on this fucking because they're so outraged by this theme park. They're pissed off about the theme park. <laughs> they're they're really unhappy with the merchandising and shit. Um, so you go to so you go to Devil's Tower, and one of those spaceships is hovering above it, and you see like a, they're not super advanced, so it's like a rope ladder drops down. <laughs> <laughs> They've mastered inter, interstellar travel, but yeah. Right. So one boy climbs down his rope ladder and kind of jumps off, and uh, okay, I'll be you. Oh, you're gonna you do you can be, Yeah, you can be alien ambassador. Oh boy. Okay. So you're late. Okay. <laughs> you show up late because you, you're always late to shit. Oh, so you, alien okay. now, fucking the aliens pissed already. All right. <laughs> like, okay. Do you think time means the same to an alien? Oh, hey, fucking, we got a busy schedule, man. All right. Now I'm an alien. Um, okay. So, so you show up in your IROC Z. <laughs> <laughs> We don't drive Iroxes on Staten Island. You, you, you pull up, you park in a handicap spot. <laughs> <laughs> you put your fireman thing on the dashboard because right. you think they get you anything, and you just uh, then you talk on your cell phone for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> then you finally get out of the car and you see them up there, like, what the fuck? Right. And you're just like, oh, oh, hold up, I'll be there in a minute. Go back to your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Hang up. You get up there. What do you What do you think? Um, this This is a great insult to us already, human. Being late. Beep bop beep boop. <laughs> Times different here on Earth. You don't understand. I was talking to this girl on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to hook up and shit. Normally, I would I would give you the pass What's with on the, the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> that looks weird. Because normally we're very friendly. Uh, but uh, you have uh, and punctual. <laughs> yes, and punctual. You have you have driven us over the edge with this uh, with this probinator, and uh, they sent you as the emissary. We are going to destroy the entire human race. All right, fuck it. Turn your hat around. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. If I start fucking flexing and contesting on an alien, they're gonna fucking run in fear, bro. Well, I don't, I, you can't. I'm assuming this. that you've had a few beers already right? <laughs> <laughs> to meet with the alien. Not to calm your nerves, just you know, These, because. Right. <laughs> listen, it's a nerve wracking meeting. Listen, all right. You, I'm doing the alien. Okay. All right. Oh wait. What are you doing? Are you fighting me? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, I'll be you again. Okay. So so you're insulted, and I'm just like, all right, alien, what the fuck do you want? You know what? Honestly, I thought we destroyed your ass in Maz attack. What are you, a fucking Martian, right? You're, you're green? Is he green? The, uh, he's a gray. Can with he, no shorts. What is he, Walt? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's, a, he's a, like some sort of combination of all aliens. Oh, uh, okay. He speaks for all alien so life. So he's like, he's like E.T., He's like, what other famous aliens we got? We got the Close Encounters guys. Yeah, can, oh, is he like alien? Like, hey, where, those two, where those two guys going? <laughs> where are you guys going? <laughs> Dicks. <laughs> um, are any of them like the aliens from, from like Cameron's aliens? Sure. It could be, I mean, just you run, use your imagination. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, so. Right. So you're giving me shit. Uh, this is uh, unacceptable. Why does my alien sound like Mosier? Like, doesn't it? It's like, um, here we go. <laughs> I am Scott Mosier. I was an alien all these years. <laughs> Fleshlight. Um, right. Speaking of which, I actually have, um, let me see. 
I have proof that maybe Quinn isn't the one to, uh, to do this. First, I want to say, all right, that's, that's actually part of the New Mexican splendor I was talking about earlier. This is what Walt wants to steamroll so that <laughs> he can build rides that fucking... You know, we took it outside our basin. hotel. Yeah. Yeah, this is right outside the hotel. What the fuck is that thing down there? Oh, it's the shadow. <laughs> The probinator, that, number one, that rabbit's got like that, right? That's rabbit ass. We're gonna start with rabbits. See if we can get work our way up rabbit to, to Brian Quinn. Um, but this next picture leads me to believe that perhaps Quinn isn't the guy to to uh, to represent us. We. I think, I think okay. he may be part alien. Okay, that's what you're gonna do to me. <laughs> and he's on his fucking cell phone, just like I said. <laughs> It, it's fucking Halloween in New York City like two years ago, and I was drunk. <laughs> and where did you even so get far, that? So far, everything I said is coming to the play. And I sha- occasionally I shave my head. Like, or did the alien shave you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> where the fuck did you even... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're the alien ambassador. Please don't put any more photos of me up there. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to go back to the bunny while we're talking? Yeah, there yeah. we go. Isn't that go cute? Back to the bunny. I am better looking than that rabbit, though. No, really, you think? No. Nah. All right. Let's give that fucking rabbit a microphone and see it hop its ass up here. <laughs> fucking Arizona was awesome. I don't know. So, uh, <laughs> so you say to, I mean, okay, so, uh, so like, uh, uh, all right, so what are we going to do about this then, huh? Like, you want to come down here and destroy everybody just because Walt Flanagan's got a little fucking cottage industry on the side when he's not working at the stash. <laughs> what do you want from us? <laughs> we oh, want, we, I'm talking to you over here, huh? <laughs> we, we want you to cease and desist all uh, Roswell. We want the rabbits to have grass back. <laughs> that ugly ass rabbit, we want it to have grass back immediately. All right, well, that's not happening. So what else do you got? We want you to bend over and get probed. <laughs> that I can deal with. Up that beautiful. <laughs> Up that. Uh, we see you're from Staten Island, and you're part of a, a superior race than the rest of the humans. <laughs> you're, you're, the, the aliens are easy to understand. This the crowd is turning on me like nobody's fucking business. I, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Well, it was your fucking resistance to to, to representing what? them. This is you why I drink. Dickhead here who's like because of this shit. You got one guy who's like fuck New Mexico, man. There's not enough alien shit. You got another guy who doesn't want to represent them and save them. I'm the only guy that's looking out for them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Fucking Teflon Bry strikes again. <laughs> you can carry guns? <laughs> it was really weird and He's random. He's going to be a lot more quieter now. Yeah. <laughs> so as I was saying, New Mexico, what a... <laughs> What up, please? <laughs> so, 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 tell me more about your girls. I love the, green poontang, is what I'm trying to yes. say. <laughs> our greys so got any of that? We, our greys females have massive boobs, and you never draw massive boobs on our females. Oh, like heavy metal? We watched heavy metal 2000 oh, yeah. today. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Cartoon boobs. Did you guys ever see this before? So anyway, I tune boob sucks. So it's Quinn. I pull out my wallet and I'm like, "Oh, let, alien guy, let me let me show you something." All right, first you saw me Halloween, but I just wanna I wanna show you how I fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I didn't know I had these. I didn't know you had these. These are that's a subway in Manhattan. That's me, and that's some chick I ended up fucking that night. Who her? Yeah. So what a fucking player! Look, like, that's some chick. That's some chick I ended up fucking. You cannot represent us. Why not? You're, you're too callous. What's that? What's that? Oh, I take Bridget. a ferry, man. <laughs> what? Nice, nice try. Back to the probe. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yes. All right. I didn't actually fuck her. I know. I'm sorry. Her over there. I so did. anyway, that's that's cool. <laughs> Don't you- Maybe that's why they wanted to talk to him, because he does look suspect. What other pictures do you have on this thing? Because you, you were busy before we got started. Oh, I got lots of pictures. You want to see more pictures? We'll stop talking about aliens. Yeah, let's drop aliens, man. This is, we've there gone was, as far as we um, can go. 
there was a show where a girl wrote in and she, uh, it was actually one we did with Kevin, and she said that she had uh, stumbled across 50 pictures of her parents' honeymoon from the early 80s. Do you remember that? But they were like nude pictures and shit and like in, in sexual, various graphic sex, sexual situations. And uh, when Kevin, you know, asked Kevin, like, what would you do if you found it? And, and like that, he was like, I'd bring them to my mom and be like, explain this, which is just like no clothes, camera. That's the explanation, I, I think. Anyway. But uh, I said that I wouldn't look at them. And uh, recently, my uh, no. my mom. What's that? I'm telling you, telling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you, Quinn. <laughs> um, tell recently, me. yeah. Recently, Pam, my mom, asked uh, Suzanne, my girlfriend, to go through a whole bunch of boxes of pictures and like separate the good ones. <laughs> what? <laughs> separate the ones that we'd want from the ones that we didn't want, you know, or she didn't want actually. And uh, so Suzanne comes up to me. She's like, I found some really weird pictures. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and uh, I said, really? And it's like this, it was this string of pictures. And not all of them were, you know, racy, but there was one. Even I have limits. So the naked ass one, I didn't bring. <laughs> you found the naked photo of Pam and Well, Edgar? naked butt. Not of Edgar, no. I mm. assume Edgar took the photos? I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, when Edgar listens to this, <laughs> he's going to be none too happy. But uh, so, um, so I, I forgot the picture to bring the pictures with me. I didn't even know we could actually do this. I didn't know we were going to be able to put pictures up. It's actually great that it took place in a movie theater because the other venues we would never be able to do this. You would never be able to see decades-old pictures of my mom. <laughs> and wouldn't that suck for you guys? <laughs> so anyway. Um, <laughs> Suzanne was out in L.A. for our L.A. show Wait, and stuff. So, What's yeah, are these, like, current pictures of your mom? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you see the little orange digital date. It was last week. <laughs> She's holding a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the background taking a nap. <laughs> Those pictures you see on the internet with like it's a lady completely nude, like striking some sexy pose, and there's like an infant in the background, like <laughs> they always circle it and write fail. <laughs> but so anyway, yeah, th these are pictures that you actually had to develop and shit, and you know. I thought that was against the law. They had uh, what developing naked pictures? Yeah, I don't think so, right? No. I mean, unless it's like weird, like hardcore, like bestiality porn or something, right? Interspecies erotica? You saw the pictures already? <laughs> Your mom fucking a gray? Yeah. yeah. Sand shorts? Yeah. I was going to say, it's like those photo booths. It's a series where it's like her and the alien kissing, shorts coming down, discovering it's genderless. She's like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> um... So, uh, it had, I guess it had to be before I was even born by like a year or two. Mm. The good days, as they call them. <laughs> uh, so, this, this next. So, they picture, were taken before your mom was even married? I think so, maybe. Oh, oh, there, was no date, yeah. there was no date on them. There was no date that on them, so fun. I'm not really too sure. But, like, it was back when she they She was used probably to, the only girl in town doing that kind of shit then. Oh, you think? Back then? Yeah, she was like the town pump, she was the skank. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it like that. <laughs> they knew who to go to. <laughs> There's other guys in the background. And my dad, Edgar, taking a nap. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> so, um... I can't believe we're going to so see this. <laughs> so they're uh, so they're, so it's a series of pictures, like I said, and they're black and white, and uh, the edges are like all like uh, like ripply, like yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're uh, cut like uh, white. Like <laughs> right, there's like a design like, to them, yeah. right? But so here's here's uh, oh, picture wait, number wait, one. Wait. What's up? Let's prepare everybody. So this is the first picture. This is actually yeah. There's one of there's one of two. Oh, there's only one two. of a series okay. of two. Yeah, because the other ones were just kind of like her hanging out. Doing nothing. Now, who wants to see that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to show you normal pictures of my mom. Um, so this was... And she doesn't know you're doing this. Nah. Well, she will soon, but... 
and plus that guy right there is going to take pictures for me of like us and then you're going to do it too and then the big screen in back of us so I can show her and be like oh check this out look what we did in New Mexico when we ran out of alien shit to talk about <laughs> so here's Pam in all some of her glory <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice that's that doesn't look too bad right not at all what do you think Walt would you bang her <laughs> Assuming you're not married. Look at his face. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a nice set of gams, I, I bro. You were go there. She's got some stems going, right? Some short <laughs> shorts, man. She's got she's got her alien shorts on. <laughs> what do you think she's right? Now it she's, looks like like someone took the photo and she didn't even know it because she's looking the other way. That could very like well Edgar be. Oh, like, like hiding in his closet. Yeah, it's like you can obviously see like it's taken through a closet. <laughs> <laughs> Like somebody's like, what would you do if that perv Edgar was in here taking a picture of you? And she's like, I don't know what I'd do. And she's, she's like, I do, bitch. How she, old was she when she had you? Um, uh, I mean, I think 22. So we could assume she's like 21 here? Yeah, she's probably 20 or 21, oh, God, somewhere around there. That's good. Yeah, you like that? I do, I do. I you like, like that. I think I like it a lot. Um, and she's writing in her diary, it appears. <laughs> <laughs> and I found her diary once, and, well, of course I read it, because <laughs> why wouldn't I? And uh, the one thing that stuck out that was so funny, because, like, if you know my father, if you listen to the show and you know, like, my relationship with my father is, like, he's constantly pissed about something. <laughs> he's constantly ornery and usually, like, swinging. <laughs> but um, it, the, the one thing that stood out was it was before, I guess they had just met, and uh, she had written in her diary that uh, she was going to uh, volunteer at the Christian Flower Show. And she's like, I met the nicest boy. His name is Edgar. I sure hope he tries to kiss me today. <laughs> oh, and it was sweet on one oh. hand. It was very sweet. But on the other hand, yeah, I was just, just like, to your dad as a, like, no way. <laughs> Showing up no in a bow way. tie and shit. Like, we're going to the Christian mm -hmm. Flower Show. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's in the closet. <laughs> like, how the fuck am I going to get out of here without her knowing? <laughs> Dear diary, yeah. me and Edgar are going to have kids, and he's going to grow up to be the president of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Our firstborn is going to respect us like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, um, I mean, eventually he kissed her and then more because here I am. Um, but the next picture is not, uh, not racy or, or titillating at all, but it, it does... Play, uh, let's see here. Okay, so there she is, caught off guard. That's your yeah. mom? That's my mom. That's not your mom. That's not your mom? No, it definitely is, because cause, because that's one of the pictures that I asked her if it was her. And she said yes. Holy but look shit. At the, okay, look at this pic. I know who you I see where is. you're going with this. Like, Because we don't tell you. He didn't tell us any shit. He didn't show us his photos. And now, I know where you're going with this. That's because you know up. who it looks Why like. That is fucked up. <laughs> oh my god! I know. And I, I know swear to you, I just figured it out. Holy shit. I swear to you that this was taken in the '60s. Um, and this, other, the next picture, is my girlfriend, and it was taken today. <laughs> so you got this, Oops. and you got this. You got this, <laughs> and you got that. Dude, you're fucking your mom. <laughs> but according to Walt, so was everyone else in town, so. <laughs> <laughs> she kept the photo mat in business. <laughs> oh, shit. Is, am I wrong? Does that look just like Susie, right? Like, I mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, she didn't Susie. know when I took this picture. I was hiding in a closet. <laughs> What did Suzanne think when you said, like, wow, you look like my mom? Was she, like, horrified, or was she, was she like... She's like, I am so wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say I look like your mom again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up, right? All right, so there she is. Look at what Suzanne did in this photo. What's that? She put a fucking wedding ring on her finger and, like, made it so prominent in the picture. I know, even though I'm not married. And, That's what I'm saying. And if we have enough time, I'm going to bitch so much about her, I might be looking for a date after this. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, yeah. It looks basically like I'm fucking my mom. <laughs> are, those, are those Christian flowers? Yes, they were from the flower show. There you go. All right, so there's, uh, there's my mom. Now, the next picture, let me say... Okay. The, um, the, the next picture is, uh, well, what do you think about that, first of all? 
What do I think about the fact that your that she looks your girlfriend that much looks that like much her. like your mom? Yeah. I think it's weird. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it's par for the course with you. I mean, it's, it's like that's just. It doesn't surprise me at all that like you know, it would surprise you more if she it. didn't look like his mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, does, does she act like your mom? Does she have like? Did you, did you seek her out? Personality and looks, the whole package. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. What do we know about my mom that I could compare to her? Does she give me useless information nonstop? Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> um, is she obsessed with Josh Groban? No. No. Does she think that the sun rises and sets on me for some fucking reason? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wow. What else? What else do we got? Do they both let me take naked pictures? Yes. Or, or do they? I'm sorry. Do they allow pictures, saucy pictures of themselves, to be taken? Allow? I think they got to know what's happening before they can allow it. If Ed goes hiding in the closet. <laughs> Should I look into that more? Should I be like... It's funny because it's so old. He had to be like... <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like Pam's face is totally covered in black powder and shit. It's like telescoping out. He's like, we got one in this. He's like, what a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Well, what do you think about Suzanne, actually? Like, because she's very close to my mom. So what do you think about her betraying Pam's trust? Because, like, I asked her, I said, look, the, uh, she knew what I was going to do. She knew that I was going to put them up here. When, you're deal when she's dealing with you, she has no choice. <laughs> what do you mean? She has no choice. It's like it, whatever you say goes. Yeah. So uh, when I look for a date afterwards, you just fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> No, nobody's going to want to go on a date. Hello, one. ladies. Um, Can you follow orders? But, but, I, <laughs> but I, uh, I, I thought that was fucked up that she, that she went back and she, um, and she immediately got the, because I, I asked her to get the pictures and scan them so that I can show them in New Mexico tonight. With, so without, 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 without you're, more, a, you're more <laughs> concerned with, like it was fucked up that she did what you asked her to do? You didn't think to yourself, like, what am I asking my girlfriend to do? <laughs> or what am I going to do later tonight? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have people that need to be entertained, right? So, like, it, it's a no-brainer for me. It makes sense that I would ask. But for her to follow through, that's very ugly of her, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I fault her, right? This is she's fucked up. <laughs> she's crazy, right? Suzanne's fucked up, man. If I were you, I don't, I'd have a serious talking with her, man. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna do better than that because since she allowed my mom to be displayed in front of all these good people, what up? Oh! <laughs> Make sure you get that picture because I want to send it to her. Look at the, look at her face. Like my boy's taking the picture. Are you his wife? You can see her face like, if you ever, ever did that, motherfucker, if you ever did that. She, she looks really good there, bro. She looks all right, huh? Yeah. But I thought she should be shamed just like she shamed my poor mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There she is with clothes on. There she is without so many clothes on. There's a bunch of fucking guys getting their fleshlights out now. Being like, <laughs> Keep talking about what a jerk she is. <laughs> But beyond that, and uh, I don't know if you if you pay attention to Twitter or um, the blog that we hit once in a while, you uh, understand that uh, I constantly throw pictures of my niece up there, my four-year-old niece. And uh, I actually mentioned this to her, that both Pam and Suzanne were allowing pictures like this to be taken of them, and this was her reaction. <laughs> <laughs> She was shocked and horrified. And I, I, I think I have to say publicly to Suzanne and Pam, you've not only disgraced yourselves and me and all these good people, but this poor child. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. 